In this video, we're going to go through how to do a slip knot utilizing the two hand technique. You want to have something to tie to and something to tie with. Again, I'm going to be using this two tone rope. And um, when you're doing this technique, what you want to keep in mind is where your uh, needle is because that's going to depend how you hold this thing in. In this video, we'll assume that you've watched the other videos on how to do a, a simple two-handed tie, so you'd be prepared to do this more complex knot. So put this across your incision. And you're going to assume that the needle is still on your suture. So if you assume that the needle is still on your suture, you're not going to cross your hands. So you want to keep the needle in your left hand. So you got your um, you got your suture. Hold it like the reins of a horse. Hold it in your neutral position. And then, if you don't cross the suture, you're gonna start with the thumb. So start with the thumb throw. Your thumb hitch. Go underneath the bridge. Pull it towards you. Cross on your thumb. Form an O with your uh, index finger and your thumb. Come across the bridge. Pass the suture to yourself, then go back across the bridge. Now if you notice, if I bring this down, it's going to want to form a square knot in a sense. But So what you want to do is lift up your left hand, and you see that throws the suture down in a different angle. So your left hand is going to be really your post. And so when you want to throw a slip knot, when you're utilizing your thumb first, you'll use two thumb throws to form a granny knot. So that was your first throw, and then you'll do the thumb throw again. Bring your thumb underneath the bridge, bring it towards you, cross on your thumb, pinch your finger, your uh, index finger and your thumb together, go across the bridge, pass the suture to yourself, go back across, and then again, don't throw it straight, lift your left hand up, and this is going to cause your suture to slip. See, we just slide guiding it down to our incision. You push it down and that will be a slip knot. And then to lock it, you have to do a couple throws in the opposite directions and that will lock it. We'll pretend like we're gonna throw our suture across our incision, and then we're going to pretend like we popped off the needle. So we're going to cross our hands. So cross our hands again. Uh, whatever was on the left side of the incision is going to come down to the right. Whatever was on the right, up and to the left. Hold it like you're holding the reins of a horse in your neutral position, and you get ready to tie. You're on your horse, you're riding, you see your bad guy, get out your gun. Go underneath the bridge, cross the suture over, over your index finger, pinch your index finger and your thumb together, go across the bridge, pass the suture that's in your right hand to your left, pinch it between your index finger and your thumb and come back across the bridge. And again, when we're doing square knots, we'll throw this down in uh, perpendicular to the um, incision. But we're not doing square knots, we're doing a slip knot, so you want to lift up your left hand straight into the air and you, as you notice this is going to slide down and then if you don't if you cross your sutures you're not going to do two throws in the same direction your next throw is going to utilize your thumb get out your thumb you give your friend the thumbs up that you shot your bad guy go underneath the bridge bring it towards you cross over your thumb pinch your Index finger and your thumb together, come across the bridge, pass the suture to yourself, go back across, and again, lift your left hand up in the air. And if you notice, this is going to want to tie, uh, form a slip knot for you, and just keep your left hand up, and you slip this down. And then to lock this, you throw uh, uh, throws in the opposite direction. 